everybody, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of Redstone Lair. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so, anyways, for those of you who haven't heard, Redstone Lair is a new series that I'm starting in which I build a very evil secret base out of various redstone contraptions. Now, I'm very sorry. I know I said I was going to upload on Monday, but I filmed on Sunday as planned. Then I filmed again on Monday, and then another time on Monday, and then another time on Monday. So I think this is the fourth time of me filming this all the way through because I was trying to do too much with it. And I realized that since I am not a YouTube partner yet, I can only record 15 minute videos. And 15 minutes was not enough for me to both introduce the series, lay out the basic outline for my idea of the base, and finish up the secret entrance that I had planned. So I'm going to postpone the secret entrance until next video. And today I'm just going to outline my plans for the series, uh, talk about what I plan to do with the base specifically, and maybe go into some of the outlines of it, like clear out the area and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to wait for this lo world to load a little bit more, and then we'll check it out. Okay, so for those of you who are curious, uh, the seed of this world is 77105922954519482019428201. So if you want to check it out yourself, you can always type that seed into the world generator and check it around check it out look around and i i've already explored the seed like i said and i decided to build the entrance right here into this wall so what i want to kind of do is build a semi secret entrance right here and this would go into a 3x3 three three tunnel extending this way with like various verification contraptions that would verify that i'm actually the evil person that i claim to be with like different quizzes maybe some combination locks, and if I get the answers wrong, I would die. If I get them right, the hallway would continue to an elevator to the center of the earth. And that's where I would build the bulk of my contraptions. So the first couple of episodes are probably just going to be setting up everything. It's probably going to take a while till we can get rolling and building the actual stuff down in the base. So as I have it planned out right now, episode one is just clearing out this area, uh, maybe start expanding downwards where the elevator is going to be, Episode 2, I'm going to be building the secret entrance. Not sure what kind of entrance. I have a couple ideas in mind, but I'm always going to take viewer feedback. Episode 3, I'm going to build some like combination locks and stuff in this hallway. Episode 4, the elevator. And from then on, I'd work on projects inside the actual lair. And this lair is not set in stone. Well, it is, because I'm building into a stone wall. Ah. Well, all, s all puns aside... Uh, I don't plan to make this my only layer. Like, I might have certain, for lack of a better word, satellite layers in other areas. Like, I want to for sure build some sort of underwater base. And they would be connected somehow, maybe by minecart rails, maybe by nether travel. I'm not sure yet. Something very evil. But yeah, I haven't decided that yet. But if you guys really wanted me to do something and I haven't done it in my main base, you could be sure that I will try it out in a different base. So right now I'm just clearing this area, making it look a little natural, because it's not really natural when you see stone right on the ground. And yeah, I'm just basically just cleaning out this area. Uh, for those of you who want to know, here are my coordinates. X is 27, and Z, or Z, if you're Canadian, is 194. And I plan to build a 3x3 three three door, because I think those, they, they just look pretty great. It's a comfortable enough space for you to walk through. And they're pretty complex, which is the point of the series. I want to build complex things that haven't been built before. So there have been 3x3 three three doors that have been built before, but I want to build an unconventional design, like maybe something involving TNT or lava. So not quite sure how that's going to work, but we will figure that out next episode. So how the series is going to go is... I want to continue the series for a long time and have multiple seasons, and I can't decide if I want to put my world up for download at the end of each season or every 5 to 10 episodes. Uh, that's all a matter of how many episodes I can get out per week and everything. I'm probably going to get an episode out about once per week, maybe twice per week when I have more free time, or once every two weeks, depending on my schedule. But for now, you can probably count on once per week. Uh, most likely, I would upload on a Monday, because I would film on a Sunday. So yeah, everything in here is just temporary. I'm just clearing out this area. 
Don't worry, I will not be using torches. Torches are evil. I'll probably use lava, because that's pretty evil. In, like, an actual evil sense. Like, torches, everybody hates torches. But lava, everybody hates lava, but they accept it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, some notes on my channel. Um, I still do not have a proper background for my YouTube channel. And I have gotten a couple offers from people who have messaged me asking if I wanted them to make them a background for me. So I said sure, and none of them have responded, and it's been a couple of months for some of them. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they died from the sheer awesomeness of me. Not quite sure. But if any of you would like to contribute to my background, that would be very much appreciated. I would put your channel on the main page of my channel. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, I would give you credit with your name or whatever you want me to. And your name would be in the description of all my videos. Also, I'm looking for some sort of intro slash outro. Some guy messaged me asking if I wanted some GX done. I wasn't quite sure what that was. I, at first, I thought it was some sort of weird type of drug. Then I realized it was probably some sort of intro or outro. So I messaged him. Like everyone else... He hasn't messaged me back. So maybe everybody who messages me just dies all of a sudden, so... Don't message me unless you have a death wish. And are really, really good at special effects and stuff. So I'm not quite sure how far I want to extend this. For now, I'm keeping it all stone, but I'll probably change that later on. Like I said, this is just tentative. Tent... It's just temporary. And... Yeah, I'll probably rip it out for something else once I actually fill this in with different contraptions and such. So for now, let's go... Eh, maybe 20 more blocks out. And then we'll build the elevator downwards. Okay, so you guys probably don't want to watch me just breaking blocks and filling in blocks that aren't stone. So I'm going to either skip the video or fast forward the video right here. So, see you guys. And okay, I'm going to make a guess here. 30.9 seconds? <laughs> okay guys, so I have hit a cave, it appears, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with caves. I mean, I could always light them up so I don't get those creepy sounds, but the creepy sounds kind of fit the theme, so I might just keep them unlit. Because that way it adds to the theme and every once in a while I'll just hear a monster grunting or something. Or, like, creepy piano noise or something. I don't know how Notch came up with that sound. He probably just... I don't know, maybe he just legitimately tried to play the piano and somebody was recording it and they, and they said, Hey, why don't you use that as the scary music? And then they did. I don't know, there's probably some funny story with that. Then again, there's probably not, and I'm just rambling. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go about five more blocks. Ah, gravel! Everybody hates gravel. You know what, since gravel's so evil, I'm gonna make a contraption completely devoted to gravel. I might even use it in my secret entrance, cause ha, screw you society. The gravel just takes so long to mine, and then placing torches, eh, I guess it's okay. But sometimes, like, usually I can never place a torch underneath in time. Then, yay. Let's see how big this cave is. Um, ooh. Okay, so, for now, I'm going to stop here. Like I said, if we need to make it longer for more contraptions and such, I can always extend it. Everything, as of now, is tentative. It's just going to give you guys an outlook of how everything's going to look. So let me just fill all this in with stone. And it appears as if I'm at about probably eight minutes right now because of the stuff I either spit up, sped up, not spit up, or uh, skipped. So we we'll probably have about seven more minutes. I'm probably not going to take that long. Eh, maybe. We're going to have some fun with TNT at the end. Okay, let's build this. And I am planning on making a very, very complicated and high-tech 
three by three elevator that hopefully will look like real elevators. So I'm going to dig down in a three by three fashion. And yeah, I'll either skip this or ah caves or I'll cut it out. Okay, so I just decided to cut the video because it was taking too long and I was getting a lot of lag from recording for so long. So if you I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a little lazy halfway through and just started using TNT. Which actually worked out pretty well. And speaking of laziness, I have a question. So I was wondering if you guys would be open for me to use a program such as MC Edit to make building the design of the evil redstone layer a little bit more easier. If not, that's completely okay. I mean, my reasoning behind it is that it's already not vanilla because I'm playing creative mode. Well, it's kind of vanilla. I don't know. It's like vanilla chocolate swirl. So yeah, I was wondering if you guys yeah, would let me use MC Edit or something of the sort. If not, like I said, that's completely okay. I'm perfectly happy with using TNT to blow stuff up. And yeah, so right now this is where the elevator is probably going to end. We are at level 7? Seven? 7. And level 7 is a pretty good level because it's down far enough so it's still got the underground feel. But it's not too far where you get the void fog. And void fog can be very annoying if you're building a house underground. So to end off this video, I'm going to be... Hey, look, Emerald! Yay! I'm going to be igniting some TNT. Yay! Just like to get the outline of the base. And building down the elevator, I came across a ravine you guys probably saw. And it gave me the idea that I should try to build some sort of glass elevator. Which would be quite a challenge. It would be new and it would look very cool because then you could look down on the ravine as you're going down into my secret base. So I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate the ravine into the lair. I probably eventually will. And it'll just like make it part of the lair. I'll probably keep sort of the same shape. But I can't fly for some reason. Sometimes when I'm recording I just can't fly for no reason. Like it's not that I'm getting a lot of lag, it's just... No, you can't fly. Alright, let's just light this TNT. That's not how you light TNT. ignite a few more. I'll probably expand this a little bit on my own to show you guys what I get the next episode. Hey look, more emerald! Wow, there's a lot of emerald. Anyways, uh, like I said, next episode we are going to be working on the secret entrance to the base. It doesn't have to be secret. I mean, some layers are more conspicuous than others, so if you guys have an idea for that, leave a comment. Uh, I'd be sure to take it into consideration. I have a couple of of ideas of my own, but I'm not sure how they would work out. So yeah, I'll probably, next episode, I'm hoping to get it done, probably do a lot of testing, and then actually building it. So also, uh, I figured that every evil layer should have some sort of evil butler. So right now we're going to add in some sort of evil butler. So I figured just NPC villager. And I want you guys to come up with a name for him. Or her. I'm uh, not sexist, it's just that these guys kind of look like men. And, yeah, so, I don't know, think of a good evil butler name, like Rutherford, Winston, Erford. I don't know, you guys, you guys think of it. Yeah, but no NPC villagers were harmed in the making of this episode. But I can't say the same for later episodes. Alright, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Redstone Lair. And this intense steering contest. Next episode, we should finish up the entrance. And on my own time, I'll probably expand this a little bit just to get the shape of it. I probably won't do any building, like with floors or walls or anything. Just expanding it. And yeah, so any suggestions for the name of this character? whether or not you want me to use MC Edit or some other sort of editor and any ideas for a secret entrance so yeah if you have any ideas leave a comment see you guys later
えええ。